All right, so look who's back on McFarland's dick. Yeah, you got it. This guy, I'm not all the way back on it, though. I'm still, like, straddling on the tip. Like, I still have a gag reflex. Unlike some of my fellow YouTubers, those guys, they can take it all the way back, swallow, and not choke on it at all. I'm not making fun of you guys. Well, I am making fun of you guys. Because truly, some of you guys don't have a gag reflex. But I love all of you at the same time. So hopefully none of you guys out there take this review personal or too much. The reason why I'm just on the tip is because I clearly called Karma. And I was like, if there's anything you could do to send me a set of those spawn figures, I would really love to review those things for you, just to be completely honest. I just really wanted these things in my action figure. I have every spawn figure ever made. And I was thinking if anybody ever reviewed the spawn figures, it should be this guy because I'm a hardcore fan of spawn action figures. She says she didn't have a full set. She sent me what she has. She sent me these two, which I'm very grateful. Carmen, thank you so much for sending these out. I'm really looking forward to getting these things reviewed, but I was actually a little bit more excited than this King Shark. Then these two, I was really hoping for the Violet or the Clown. Those were just two figures that I can't get on my shelf fast enough. Supposedly, they're not at Target. I went to Target to try to track them down. I couldn't find them. Hopefully, I'll find them soon. And then when I get, when I can complete this set, I will review the whole set. I don't want to just review two figures out of the set. Now that we got that out of the way, back to these things. The fact that he made a King Shark. You know, never mind that. Back it up. The fact that the Suicide Squad put King Shark in the movie and then Todd decided to make that as a Build-A-Figure is amazing. The fact that he made it in a Walmart exclusive with blood on the mouth so you don't have to buy all these figures is even more amazing. I don't know if that's going to bite him in the ass. I don't know if that's going to work to his advantage. If you're a King Shark, like that's your guy, then you have to buy all these to buy the non the non blood on the mouth version, which is cool, but not clearly as cool as this. So I'm wondering how many collectors, let me know in the comments, are going to pass on the whole entire wave and buy this bloody version of the King Shark only, or if you're just going to get the set and then not get it, it's kind of weird i'm glad that he did it that's definitely him thinking about the collectors i don't know maybe it's him thinking about his wallet i'm not real sure how that's going to work out i just love the fact that he did it if he would have did this with the bane i i would have just got the bane because i didn't care for those action figures as much but the bane and the scarecrow were an absolute must to have in my collection enough of me rambling let's check this shit out it's not the first time i've seen I'm through, and now you're walking on Such a thin line, and I'm about to lose My nerve when I walk this time Cost me so much, now leaving in the dust Everything we had, it threw it away And I have wasted too much love We're gonna start down here with my favorite figure in the set well, kind of not the favorite figure in the set. The Walmart exclusives King Shark. This thing is truly amazing. The blood in the mouth, the painted shorts. We'll take a closer look at him later. He comes with a little card display stand back there, which is, eh, whatever. It's, I guess it's great that he added it on. It would have been great if he gave us a hand that could actually hold these arms. I'm not going to talk shit about this thing because it's going to be one of my favorite figures of the year. It's just truly amazing. I love almost everything. I'm just, I just love the King Shark. Let's just get that out of the way. Then you have Harley Quinn in a costume that you probably didn't want Harley Quinn in. I'm curious to see how often she wears this thing in the movie. I heard that she's going to make it her appearance in her original costume. That's the action figure that I would have liked, but whatever. Then you have Bloodsport right here. You can get the masked or unmasked. Like he doesn't come with both heads in the package, which is something that I like when they do. But he's going to make it to where, like, you get, like, the mass version or, like, a chase version of the other one, which is kind of weird because if you wanted this one and all you ever could find was the unmasked and you need to build a piece, well, that's kind of weird. It's the first time getting him in your collection, first time getting a Peacemaker in your collection, first time getting Polka Dot Man in your collection. So that is cool to have new characters in your collection. Um, this thing, I actually, I, I like it, man. I thought this was a cool toy. It actually comes with a different weapon. We'll take a closer look at it. Then you have Polka Dot Man. We'll start right here. This thing is amazing. I love it. Just, just 
when I saw Polka Dot Man in the trailer, I was like, please make that, please make that, please make that. And please make the weasel and please make King Shark. We're two down, one to go. God, I hope he makes a weasel. That would be truly amazing. This thing is actually looks really cool. They actually put like a wash on it. The detail on his, on his toys are always amazing. The paint job is usually um, pretty good, but could be better. But on Polka Dot Man, I think it, I don't see how this could be better. He comes with an extra cuff. I'm not real sure why, because his polka dot effects just clips on there. So I don't know why he gave us an extra cuff. That doesn't really, maybe he like throws it at you and it's like in a set. I don't, I don't know why you got an extra one of those. The goggles do come off. The head sculpt on that looks really good. The flesh tone looks really good. The articulation, it works good. It's kind of clunky like Todd. Everybody's doing like pinless joints now. It's at least, try to evolve into it at least step away like like um hasbro starting to step away from it definitely makes for a cleaner action figure the articulation on these things works really well he does this rubber to torso on almost all of his figures i love that i really love that i wish that more people were doing stuff like that um then you can get like that ab crunch with like less joints it, you can like it just and he's got the rubber shorts here which i absolutely love that he does that quite a lot he's been doing that for quite some time it makes it less gappy on the thighs on the articulation i mean come on you guys know how it works by now jointed toe he, i love the the pin on the boot he still has that weird ball on the wrist sometimes he does it sometimes he gets away from it is polka dot man i really wanted this thing in my collection first time ever getting in my collection i love this thing to death and then you have the peacemaker masked and unmasked i can't see too many people unless you're a hardcore peacemaker fan wanting the unmasked version like you see this and you're just kind of like it looks like a wrestler figure then you see this and you're like oh that's peacemaker that thing is absolutely amazing i do like the the axe a little bit better than the sword like the little doves in there this thing is cool like i won't probably looks like a wrestler because he is a wrestler oh yeah that go go figure there he's got a dove on his shirt i don't know anything about this character hopefully i will know something about this character after the movie i love this action figure also first time getting him in your collection then you have blood sport down here he did it again with the mask and unmasked once again I don't know if this character is tokenized or whatever. I, it's the first time getting this in action figure form in our collection. I mean, I think it looks cool. It kind of looks like um, Deathstroke. Maybe he's like a generic version of that. It actually looks pretty cool. Tons of sculpted detail on here. The paint looks like it could have a little bit more paint. It's not bad, but it just kind of looks like something's missing. I mean, it's probably still a lot more paint than Marvel Legends puts on there. As far as the head sculpt goes, he's kind of like shiny. He doesn't really look as good as like Peacemaker Peace, uh, does or the Polka Dot Man especially. Look at the comparison. Like, I think that that flesh tone, just the skin, looks. this one looks kind of shiny. Like he just lost his lotion and he used baby oil instead um, it's not horrible, but it's just kind of weird that it, that I don't like it when the flesh tone has a shine to it, unless it's like a super animated figure. Then you have this one. I love it with the mask on. That thing is really cool. It comes with the same accessories as this, both pretty cool. Then you have the Harley Quinn here. The rubber dress on it is cool. It definitely looks like it could have used a little wash or a little something. The red just is kind of plain. And then on the articulation, like with the big pins on a female figure, I'd much rather have like a single jointed elbow or do some of that pinless technology. I don't like pins on the female action figures. It definitely takes away from, especially a character like Harley Quinn, like you want your Harley Quinn to be sexy. And then you do like that weird ball on the ankle, these weird clunky joints. And it kind of takes away from the female version. Like it just doesn't make her like, like Harley Quinn. Like you want to like, you know, take this to the bathroom and like crank one out to her. Like it's Harley Quinn. You got to make the female figures a little bit more smoother, Todd. I would really appreciate it. And for King Shark, I will do some King Shark comparisons. But for now, we're going to head and take a look at this one. This is the one that comes in the, as the Build-A-Figure set. I absolutely love this. Like you pull the mouth down and then the teeth up top come out. Oh, Todd. That's just genius. Like, it's genius. It's 
I, I love it so much. The difference between these two, you can see on the chest, this one has a little bit more paint work on it. The shorts are night and day. This is so much better than this. I actually thought this was cool until you took this out of the package. And then like, I mean, just a, just a little bit of paint app that took a good toy into an amazing toy. I mean, it's an amazing toy anyways. If they would have did this with a, a regular action figure, it would have made that. But considering that it's King Shark, it just, God, it's... It's just truly amazing. Let's go ahead and take a good look at this bloody mouth. Like, look at that. It's shiny. It looks like real blood. To me, I wish you would have exaggerated the blood a little bit more since it's like a blood version. You close the mouth. It was closing without the teeth getting caught in there. But now it's getting there. This one closed nice and easy without the teeth. I must have been playing with it. I actually played with this thing for quite some time before the review just because this toy is so amazing. So you can display it with the mouth fully open, which I absolutely love, partially open, or you can close it all the way like that. I think that looks kind of silly, but the character is kind of silly and fun, and I just absolutely love it. He's a fat shark in board shorts. Like, God, look at this. He's... Whew. That thing is nice. It's just it's just amazing let's go over some of the articulation that part for me is not my favorite the head does move i love how he did that the joint in the mouth is that's just action figure perfection did a single jointed elbow which it i like single jointed elbows on the bigger figures it doesn't work that amazing and it's kind of like it just it leaves gaps in it when you pose it which I mean, it's, I love the action figure. Another thing he did on the wrist, which I'm not a big fan of, is like when you move the wrist, you got that weird joint there. I don't know why he couldn't just do a ball on that. I think that would have been um, a better alternative. And then you have this thing, and then you go like that. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know why he did that versus a ball joint. And then you have the articulation at the waist, so you get an ab crunch, and he also moves here in the rubber board shirt, which I really love. And then on the knees, he doesn't move much. The, the shorts definitely hinder the knee articulation, which doesn't bother me. And then on the feet, you can kind of bring him back all the way to like he's swimming, then you have articulated toes. This thing is absolutely amazing. Let me pull out some King Sharks for some comparisons. All right, I'm still going to get to the King Shark comparisons, but I was taking a couple pictures, and I put this little group together, and I just thought that, man, they look amazing together. Of course, I was going to put this picture on the tail end of my video, but I mostly just wanted you to see the scale of it. And, God, it's, it's good. Like, it's kind of like, when you see the bloody shark back there, and then you see this one that comes in there, you're kind of like, I don't know. I don't know why I had to add that in there just then, but I, but I did. But these together as a team, the way they scale... The scaling looks, it looks amazing. Like he's definitely killing it on the scale. Granted, it's that bigger seven inch scale versus the six inch scale, which if you're into DC figures originally, that's how they started. All right, now we'll get to the King Shark comparison. All right, so before you guys start chiming in and go, wait a second, that's not King Shark. I know that's not King Shark. It's just a really cool shark action figure, and I figured I would throw it out there. I also know that these aren't King Shark, but just how many people pull these things out in their King Shark review. This is actually a Marvel Legends. I just kind of pulled him out for a scale comparison with the King Shark, and he actually looks really good. If you wanted to take some pictures of these two together, I'm, I, I like this. I mean, it's just a shitty Marvel Legends repaint, but definitely kind of cool. And then this one, I can't even remember his name. He was just a figure with the shark head on it, put fins on it. I thought it was cool. I really like the um, old DC Mistel stuff. I kind of wish that Todd would <clears throat> get into like a real classic version of DC characters. That's what I would like to see, Todd, if you're listening. I would like to see classic dc action figures oh i don't know like i do have the wonder twins but i would like another set of the wonder tens and the monkey don't make them without the monkey you could do those two in like a little two pack with like a little build them like when they did the little midget guy that would be cool but here's all the king sharks for a king shark comparison here's like the old mattel one which i absolutely still love that action figure the fact that they made him with a regular head and a hammerhead it 
I don't know how you could not buy both of them if you're a King Shark fan. This thing is really cool. Todd, I know you're doing some of the bigger characters, and the bigger characters that you're doing, like this one and Bane and some of the other ones, are truly amazing. If you wanted to take a crack at a comic book animated version of the King Shark, I would be first in line to get that. Hopefully after the McFarland team sees this video, they don't get insulted, they don't get offended, they don't take it too seriously, and they keep me back on the McFarland dick because getting free action figures is truly amazing. And like always, guys, thanks for watching.